Hey everybody, my name is Alex. Welcome to my garage workshop. Uh, let's play with some wheels and make some art. So this video is a follow-up to my previous video about making bicycle wheel weather vanes. If you haven't seen that, please check out the link right over here. Um, it's going to tell you how I make these things from every step from beginning to end. This is just a little further kind of exploration of a couple issues that we run into when we make these sorts of things. So I made, I wanted to make my brother one of my windmills for his birthday. He just turned 50. So I started making this wheel with these really wide um, fan blades, if you will, of foil tape on here that span four spokes. They're really wide. They catch a lot of air, which should make it spin nicely. But until it gets started, uh, when the wind hits it, it also just wants to turn it and push it away from the wind. Especially on such a small wheel, I had it mounted near the corner of my porch just to test it. Well, as the wind comes off the house, it, it's not very even wind, and it would tend to just catch the wheel and just, it's going to just hit the side, turn it, grab this side, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, and it just keeps doing that. So I've had to change some things up. And a couple things. The first thing I did is I went from this to this. These are the exact same wheel, but instead of going from one spoke spanning four, I only span two, so the blades are basically half as wide. Uh, consequently, they're steeper. This, these blades are fairly flat, and when they're that flat, they do catch the wind pretty heavy, and it really takes, I mean, they'll really move once it starts spinning, but it takes a good wind to, you know, it, it wants to just turn it rather than spin it. So these blades are a shallower angle or excuse me, a steeper angle to the wind. The, the, well, the wind comes in and it doesn't have to hit it so kind of flat. It can go off of it and tends to push it a little better. Uh, also, I was able to double up the number of these blades simply by putting, because instead of four spokes, it went two spokes. Uh, then there's the tail. He was a professional chef for a long time. I decided to make a little cut out here with a little shape of some knives as an homage to his culinary history. I think I'll like it. But this tail section, the area of this is actually kind of small compared to a lot of the ones I do. Also, it's close to the, the hub. It doesn't stick out very far. That is a little bit of a challenge. Uh, that's, again, when, it, when the wind hits it, if the wind's coming, say, from the camera, it comes this way, hits it, turns that way, turns this way, turns this way, it just tends to want to spin it around and around and around. So again, I've changed those blades. I'm not going to change up the tail. The, chain, the tail, it look, you know, looks good. I can make a bigger one. Um, it does work, but it, the wind really has to be moving a, a good clip for it to really start spinning around rather than turning on its axis this way. Um, I've added this weight down here, pound and a quarter weight down to the bottom here. Um, it doesn't need a weight to keep it centered down. What it really is doing is it just adding some mass here so that when the wind does want to turn it, push it away, it wants to put it, it's, it's keeping this tail away from that center of gravity and hopefully keeping it steady with the wind. So we'll see. For the other wheel that I originally made for him, I'll have to find another use for it. I can still make one of these, but if I put a much longer tail or a bigger area tail, then this should spin just fine. But I do have a completely different little windmill, bike wheel windmill project in the works. I'm making another project for hopefully some public art that I'll be installing next year. Uh, we'll see how my budget and time allows. Instead of a wheel that turns like this does, like it's a fan blade, I'm going to do some where it turns more like a water wheel in the wind. It's a little different. It won't spin as fast as this one will. Um, but for this particular art project, I need something that's going to catch the wind in that plane, uh, and this just won't work. Um, we're going to do some, uh, hopefully, some really nice stuff with some panes of stained glass placed in between the spokes. I think it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I've done a little work like that before, but this is going to be a new project, and we'll see how it comes out. Before that, I needed a new way to make my wheel spin, and so I made this wheel. So basically it's just an anemometer, which is the standard kind of wind vane sort of things that spin and catch the wind. The basic idea is a whole series of cups 
around the rim that when the wind is blowing uniformly like this, it'll tend to want to push it this way. And again, it's just a water wheel. Uh, in this case, it's with wind. And we could have it in this direction, this direction anyway, but I think I might, initially I was going to do them like this, I may do it uh, more horizontal like this. The challenge initially was coming up with these sorts of cups. Um, you could do as simple as honestly little small, uh, you could do aluminum can sections from a, a soda can or metal cans from a, you know, a can of beans or something would work. That's fine. Um, I wanted something a little more rounded, something that was going to catch the wind a little better. And so I 3D printed these. Now, I get to cheat a little bit because at my job, I'm a dentist, and I were fully digital in my practice, and we do a lot of 3D printing. So I was already familiar with 3D printing. I already have the materials. All I did was design this little scoop in the computer. Printed one with, every time I'm printing dental models, I print one or two of these with it. And pretty soon, I've got a whole collection of these little things. I've made a hole in it that I've threaded for a uh, four millimeter metric thread. I simply drilled holes along the rim and bolted it on. So we're going to make a bunch of these things. I might make some different shapes of these, different sizes, maybe even some that sit inside the rim, especially for larger diameter wheels. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to have some future videos and that will show some of that as this pro project progresses. This public art piece that's destined for this, it's not going to be in the out for display in the public to at least, I don't know, fall of 2019. So it's going to be a while. Uh, but I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you like. I don't have a lot of videos, but I'm just starting. And feel free to post any comments, ask questions. I'm happy to answer them. You guys have a great day. Thank you.